in the heart of ancient Japan, amidst the majestic mountains and verdant forests, there lived a samurai whose valor knew no bounds. Renowned throughout the land for his unwavering loyalty and peerless skill in combat, he was a beacon of honor and courage in a world plagued by darkness and strife. This samurai, whose name was Hachiro, served as the favored warrior of the emperor, his every deed a testament to his unwavering dedication to the throne. But amidst the clamor of battle and the clamoring of courtiers, there existed a bond that transcended the realm of duty, the bond between Hachiro and his beloved daughter, Tokoyo. From the moment she came into the world, Tokoyo was the apple of her father's eye, the embodiment of all that was pure and good in his tumultuous existence. He doted on her with a love that knew no bounds, imparting upon her the wisdom of the ages and the strength of his own indomitable spirit. Under her father's tutelage, Tokoyo blossomed into a formidable warrior in her own right, her martial prowess matched only by her unwavering determination to uphold the principles of justice and righteousness. She trained tirelessly alongside her father, mastering the art of the sword, the precision of archery, and the myriad skills necessary to survive in a world fraught with peril. But amidst the tranquility of their familial bond, a shadow loomed on the horizon, the emperor had fallen gravely ill, his once mighty spirit now waning in the face of an unseen foe. As rumors of his ailing health spread throughout the realm, Hachiro received a summons from the imperial court, beckoning him to the emperor's side in his time of need. With a heavy heart, Hachiro bid farewell to his beloved daughter, leaving her in the care of their humble abode as he set forth on his journey to the imperial palace. Little did he know that this would be the last time he would lay eyes upon his cherished Tokoyo for many moons to come. Upon his arrival at the imperial court, Hachiro was met with a sight that filled him with dread. The emperor lay upon his deathbed, his once proud visage now ravaged by the cruel hand of fate. In his delirium, the emperor uttered a decree that would forever alter the course of Tokoyo's destiny. Go to the island of Oki and do not return, the emperor commanded, his voice a mere whisper amidst the hushed tones of the courtiers gathered around his bedside. With a heavy heart, Hachiro bowed before his leech, his resolve unwavering in the face of this solemn command. He knew that duty called him to distant shores, and he would not shirk his responsibilities, even if it meant leaving behind all that he held dear. Meanwhile, back at their secluded home nestled amidst the tranquil beauty of the Japanese countryside, Tokoyo waited patiently for her father's return, her heart heavy with worry and uncertainty. Day turned to night, and night turned to day, yet still, there was no sign of Hachiro's triumphant return. As the days stretched into weeks, Tokoyo's anxiety grew with each passing moment, her thoughts consumed by visions of her father lost amidst the vast expanse of the ocean, his fate unknown to all save the gods themselves. But amidst her despair, a flicker of determination ignited within her soul, she would not rest until she had reunited with her beloved father, come what may. And so, with a resolute spirit and a steely resolve, Tokoyo set forth on a journey that would test the limits of her courage and endurance, 
leading her across the length and breadth of the Japanese archipelago in search of the one man who had always been her guiding light in a world fraught with darkness. From the bustling streets of Kyoto to the tranquil shores of Kyushu, Tokoyo traversed the length and breadth of the land, her quest for her father's whereabouts driving her ever onward, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Along the way, she encountered a myriad of characters, from humble peasants to noble warriors, each offering their own unique perspective on the world and its mysteries. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, Tokoyo's journey seemed destined to end in naught but heartache and despair. For despite her tireless efforts and unwavering determination, there was no sign of her father to be found, his whereabouts shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. Yet Tokoyo refused to give in to despair, her spirit unbroken despite the trials and tribulations that lay in her path. With each passing day, her resolve grew stronger, her determination to reunite with her father burning brighter than ever before. And then, one fateful day, as she stood upon the shores of a remote fishing village nestled amidst the rugged cliffs of the Japanese coastline, Tokoyo's prayers were answered in the most unexpected of ways. Approaching the villagers with a plea for aid, Tokoyo beseeched them to ferry her across the treacherous waters to the distant island of Oki, where she believed her father to be held captive by forces beyond her ken. But the villagers recoiled in fear at her request, their superstitious nature fueled by tales of a fearsome serpent that dwelled beneath the waves its ravenous appetite for human flesh striking fear into the hearts of all who dared to venture near. Undeterred by their warnings, Tokoyo resolved to find her own way to the island of Oki, scouring the coastline for a seaworthy vessel that would carry her across the ocean's expanse. And amidst the wreckage of a long-forgotten fishing boat, she found her salvation, a weather-beaten vessel that had weathered the ravages of time and tide, its sturdy hull a testament to its resilience in the face of adversity. With a prayer upon her lips and a steely resolve in her heart, Tokoyo set sail for the island of Oki, her eyes fixed upon the distant horizon as she braved the wrath of the tempestuous sea. With each cresting wave and howling gale, her determination only grew stronger, her unwavering faith in her father's love guiding her through the darkest of nights. And then, at long last, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars began to shimmer in the velvet sky, Tokoyo beheld the distant silhouette of the island of Oki looming on the horizon, its rugged cliffs and verdant forests a testament to the untamed beauty of nature's bounty. Drawing closer to the shore, Tokoyo's heart quickened with anticipation, her pulse pounding in her ears as she prepared to face whatever trials lay in store on this distant and foreboding island. Little did she know that her greatest challenge awaited her not upon the land, but beneath the waves, where a fearsome serpent lay in wait, its hunger for human flesh insatiable and unyielding. Arriving at the island's rocky shore, Tokoyo was met with a scene of desolation, the once thriving village now lay in ruins, its inhabitants cowering in fear at the mere mention of the serpent's name. Undeterred by their terror, Tokoyo pressed onward, her determination unwavering in the face of such overwhelming odds. Approaching a weather-beaten cottage nestled amidst the craggy cliffs, 
Tokoyo encountered a man and a young girl, their faces etched with fear as they gazed out at the churning waters below. Sensing their distress, Tokoyo approached them with a question burning upon her lips. Why are you here in this perilous place? She demanded, her voice ringing out with authority. The man's gaze hardened, his voice tinged with desperation as he explained the grim reality of their plight. We must sacrifice the girl to the serpent that dwells beneath the waves, he confessed, his words heavy with sorrow. Tokoyo's blood boiled with rage at the injustice of it all, her heart pounding in her chest as she vowed to put an end to the serpent's reign of terror once and for all. With a fierce determination burning in her eyes, she declared her intent to confront the creature and emerge victorious, no matter the cost. And so, armed with nothing but her wits and her trusty blade, Tokoyo plunged into the icy depths of the sea, her muscles burning with exertion as she swam deeper and deeper into the abyss. With each stroke, her resolve grew stronger, her determination unyielding in the face of the unknown. At last, she reached the ocean floor, where she beheld a sight that sent a shiver down her spine, a towering statue of the Emperor, its weathered features a haunting reminder of the power and majesty of the realm. And coiled around its base, she found the serpent, a fearsome creature with gleaming scales and razor-sharp fangs, its eyes blazing with malevolence as it prepared to strike. Summoning all her strength and courage, Tokoyo launched herself at the serpent, her blade flashing in the dim light of the ocean depths as she danced with death itself. With a swift and decisive strike, she plunged her knife into the serpent's heart, delivering a fatal blow that sent the creature writhing in agony before finally succumbing to death's cold embrace. Returning to the surface, Tokoyo emerged triumphant, the serpent's lifeless body draped across her shoulders as a trophy of her victory. And as she returned to the shore, she was greeted with tears of joy and gratitude from the man and the girl, their faces alight with relief at the sight of their deliverance. You have saved us, the girl exclaimed, her voice ringing out with joy. How can we ever repay you? Tokoyo smiled, her heart swelling with pride at the knowledge that she had made a difference in the lives of those in need. Find my father, she replied. Tell him that I have come to bring him home. And true to their word, the man and the girl led Tokoyo to her father, who had been living in exile in their village all along. With tears of joy streaming down their faces, father and daughter were finally reunited, their bond stronger than ever in the wake of their harrowing ordeal. Returning to the Imperial Palace, Tokoyo presented the serpent's body to the Emperor, her actions hailed as a heroism of the highest order. And as the curse upon the Emperor's statue was lifted, so too was the curse upon his health, his strength restored by Tokoyo's bravery and determination. In the end, Tokoyo's courage and resilience would earn her a place among the revered samurai of Japan, her name spoken with reverence and admiration for generations to come. And though she had faced many trials and tribulations on her journey, Tokoyo emerged victorious, a shining example of the indomitable spirit of the human heart.